Okay, so say you get hired into a investment firm. Your day, your day-to-day -day job goes like that, right? You see at a desk, your boss is gonna come in there. Uh, he's gonna send you a ton of PDF, and they look like that. Okay, they may not look exactly like this, but this is a, 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 a you know, a, a, a sample, right? Straightforward sample of that. Now, in those reports, this is how it looks like. It has a, a ton of companies in here. Um, here it has about one, two, three, four, five. It has ten, ten companies, right? Ten companies on this list on this table. And your job as the as the intern is to actually try and uh, research on each of these company and maybe make a recommendation or two and put it on his desk. So how do we go about this task, right? You can say though the most straightforward way of going about the task is to just copy this, you know, and open it up, or open up a new browser, paste this in, press enter, go into news and actually, you know, read up on the news, read up on what's happening to, you know, to the uh, to DBS Group Holdings Company, look into the news of that and then and maybe make a recommendation, make a make a simple report and make a simple summary of, you know, what's happening in the last 12, 12 hours of, of you know, trading activities and stuff. And then you go into the second company and you do the same thing, open up Google Chrome and, you know, or whatever browser that you're using and then paste it in and uh, do the same. And then you repeat that for uh, UOB and you repeat that for Singtel and so on and so forth. Some of these companies, most of these companies are pretty, uh, I, I, you know, I believe they're household names. If you're from this part of the world, you've probably seen this before. Um, you know what DBS is, you know what UOB is, but you can also imagine there are few companies that you're probably, you know, not as familiar with, Thai Barrage, for example, probably not, not everyone have heard of that, right? So how do you go about this task? Um, the first way is to do it manually, right? Just copy that, open up the PDF every day, go in your work, check your email, wait for the, you know, for, for the, an email from your boss, open that PDF up, copy that, open a browser, paste it in, and then, you know, do your research and you repeat that cycle for a total of 10 times, you move on to the second PDF and you do that. Now, wouldn't it be nice if we can automate all of this process, right? Wouldn't it be nice if to write a Python script and do all of this for us, right? So, uh, let's get into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is that uh, because we're working with a PDF file, you want to be able to, and, and also, by the way, if you're wondering what, what is this, this is just a sample, it will be on my GitHub, you can go and um, you know, download that and you can find that on my GitHub, I'll send it, I'll paste the link there. Uh, but SDPR is just a, a, a ETF is exchange, um, they, they mean exchange traded funds, right? They usually manage by, um, they usually try to trace a certain, uh, a, a certain uh, uh, index, right? And try and trace a certain index. In this case, it's tracing the, um, tracking the, the, the Straits Times Index. So that's what an ETF is. Now, let's get started. So because this is a P PDF file, we're going to start with actually loading in some libraries to work with the PDF file. Okay, one such library is called the PI PDF2. So PI, PY, capital P, PDF2. Okay, now once you loaded that in, these give you uh, functionalities to open this file, uh, copy files from here, and, and you know, work with a PDF, a PDF file in general, and you can work with it just like, you know, how you do a normal file. Um, you can do a open, or I, I like to use the context manager, so I'm going to say with open. Now this file, this PDF is called sample.pdf. So I have sample.pdf right here, okay? And because PDF file, just like Microsoft Word, it's a binary format, right? It's not a, it's not a plain text, it's binary format. It has rich formatting, you know, colors, uh, and, and all of this. So we need to open that up in uh, binary mode, read binary mode, okay? And I'm going to just call this a, a PDF file. Okay, so, so this is how I would open that file, sample the PDF, say open that as PDF file, and do something with the PDF file, all right? Now, what do we want to do? Okay, we're going to create a reader object, and we're going to say this is pi PDF dot PDF file reader. Now, there is the merger reader writer. What we want is the reader. We want to read the file, right? So we want to read the file. And we're going to put in the name of this PDF file. So we said open that file. Once you've opened that file, use our PI PDF to read the PDF file. And once we've done that, we're gonna look at the second page. Just uh, just for you know, just an example. There are multiple pages. You can try this on your own. Uh, maybe try a different page. I'm gonna go with the second page. So I'm gonna say page, uh, page two. Actually, just call page one to be consistent. I'm gonna say reader dot PDF page get page. And zero would give me the first page, right? Right? Zero would give me the first page of the PDF. 
Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say 1. Okay, so go into the second page. And once I've done that, um, I'm going to try to extract all of this text here. So I'm going to just call it text. I'm going to say page 1 text equals page 1. And what do I want to do? I want to extract uh, text. So extract text. Now, just to make sure we've done all of this correctly, let's print the text out. Save it. Let's go down here. We're going to run our code, execute our code Python PDF. This is the file name of my script. Let's run that. And here I go. Okay, so I see all of this printed out on my screen. Let me bring this up a little bit. Right, you can see all of this being printed out. You can see, um, you can see, you know, the text in here, um, Straits Times Index ETF investment report. Right, okay. So so far so good. We see we see a DBS Group Holdings Limited. This is right here. We see Overseas Chinese Banking Corporation. That's OCBC. We see UOB. So far so good. We have all of this that we want. But really, we don't care about these numbers. We really just want to have this. So how do we how do we do that? Well, we can use regex for this, right? So let's let's go ahead and actually import regex. This is built into Python. You don't have to uh, pip install this. You have to this. You have to uh, make sure you have this in your in your environment. If you don't have that, you need to do a pip. You know, do a pip install. We do a pip install py pdf2. Now I'm gonna assume you've done that already. So now we call for our regex. We're gonna have to remove this screen now. We don't need that. Um let's create our first, let's create our regex objects. Okay, so I'm gonna create, I'm gonna name it rex. So compile. Now what do I want to do here? Now what I want to do is I want to find any text. After this string of text here, are they this string of you see this percentage percentage uh, as dollar sign? So I'm gonna have to write a certain pattern that matches anything after this. Right? I'm gonna have to write a pattern that matches anything after this this set of characters right here. So how do I how do I do this? Now uh, let's see if this is a uh, regex right here. So I'm gonna say look ahead. Okay, look ahead. Look ahead basically means that match anything. Um, assuming that it, you know it, it follows this pattern, and we're gonna put this pattern in here, and then within this pattern itself, we're gonna also have this sort of like a wildcard statement that says, well, anything, anything that matches this, we wanna we wanna get the following text. This makes a lot more sense once I've uh, typed this in. So give me a second. Let me let me say I wanna take the percentage percentage. I wanna copy this. I wanna put this right in here. Now, obviously this will not work because we haven't escaped that. So what we're gonna do is gonna escape this key. It's a special character. We're gonna escape that. We're gonna also escape this. We're gonna also escape the bracket, right? The opening bracket. Uh the, the S is fine. We don't need to escape that. This we need to escape. The closing bracket we need to escape. And that's it. Now if you try and do this, right, let's just print, let's just see what it does before we uh now if you if you try and do this, you're also gonna realize that it's only gonna just print out um, DBS group holdings, but it's not gonna go to a new line. There's a new line right there. So what you want to do is to also add dot all to say dot all like that. Okay. So and again, this will make a lot more sense once we've uh, executed the script. But basically, this is just a pattern. This is regex pattern to actually try and match any strings that follow right the look ahead here. Uh, they look like that, and you're just escaping all of these different you know special characters. You're just escaping that. Um, and again, if you need to pause the video, you can pause the video and maybe just try and wrap your head around what is happening uh, in this in this you know regex expression right here. Okay. Now once we have that, we're gonna say body. We're gonna say we body, right? And we're gonna do a search, right? We're gonna do a search, and we're gonna pass in our pattern. We call it rex, so we're gonna pass rex in here. Um, and then what do we wanna? What is it? What what is the string that we wanna pass? Well, that will that happen to be the text. We call it text, so we're just gonna pass text right in here. And I'm gonna take the first group. So I'm gonna just say group zero. Okay. And group zero basically, you know, refers to the first group. If you have multiple groups, then you wanna, you know, match the, the right group. But here this is good enough. So this is the body. This is gonna take up the, you know, it's gonna read this PDF. It's gonna read the PDF. It's gonna get this page, read the PDF, extract all the text in here, and it's gonna use this pattern to find only the body. And the body really refers to this part of the of of the of the page, right? This part of the page. We don't need you know the rest, the, the remaining parts of uh, of this PDF. We really just care about this 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 body part of the PDF. Now, what we want to do next is we want to just um 
But once we have all of this, in fact, let's let's print that out just to do a sanity check, make sure everything goes well. Run that again. Uh, miss out the comma in here. Okay, so let's run all of this again and make sure that all of this still works. Right, this is the body part of our text. Now we're only printing out the body. Now notice that the management manager's investment report, uh, the Straits Times Index ETF, annual report, all of that is gone. We only have the body part of this PDF. Okay, now now what we want to do is we want to only take we want only take this string right here, the the overseas Chinese banking corporation UOB. We only want to take the strings. We don't care about the numbers. We don't care about the decimal points and on you know all of these flowing numbers. We only want the string. So let's add another regex statement right here. Let's let's go ahead and let's just say find holdings. I'm gonna just remove this holdings, and this holdings is really just you know this this. 10 different companies on our report right here. Okay, so we're gonna say regex and we're gonna say find all. Now, what do we want to find? Uh, again, we need a regex. Now, instead of trying to escape each of these characters by using a backslash, you can actually put in a raw string like that. Okay, now we wanna we wanna find within the body. So we're gonna just put body right here, and now we're gonna try and you know, do the second part of the regex. Uh, what we wanna do is we're gonna put in uh, again, we're gonna have uh, two here. We can, now we're gonna have a, a. This is a look behind. Sorry for that. This is a look behind. Now we're gonna have a look ahead, right? We're gonna look ahead. So we're gonna say, if it's preceded by a new line character, and how do I know that? Well, look. If you look at the body text itself, this is the new line. This is the new line. This is the new line. So you really want you really want this part of the string right here, just before the new line, right? Just, there is a new line here. You want to go before the new line. So all of this, all of this is. You know, what you're trying to match but this will also match you know a lot of other things that we don't want for example you know, see words like that 95 dot so what we want to do here is to be a bit more strict and actually say no we actually want only words um, a to z uh, the letters the alphabets right the alphabets and we're gonna say a space because you know sometimes you have company names with Singapore space telecommunications space limited so we're gonna say a space is fine we're gonna just put this s here or uh, the backslash s Tells regex that if you see a space, that also that also qualifies. So we have matching any letters within here, a to z, capital A to z, and then a space. Anything else, you know, you won't try to match. Now once we've done that, let's uh let's let's go ahead and now do a loop, just a simple for company in holdings. And now this is where we're gonna coin another uh Python module for this. We're gonna actually call in. Uh, import web driver. Actually, web browser. We're gonna. We don't need. To, uh, we don't need to use Selenium or any fancy stuff for that. We can use the built-in web browser. This is also built-in. You don't have to install this. Um, and we're just gonna use one of these core modules. We don't need to install, you know, Selenium to in order to do this, right? So all we need to do is to just say web browser. Dot. Now we can say open, or we can say open new tab. In my, you know, in my case, I actually want it to just open new tab. Let me just. Make sure that this is my software right now. This is let me just close all of this, right? Close all of this. Now I'm gonna say open new tab, and this is where I'm gonna say Google.com. If I put Google.com, there is usually this uh search string, and I can put my query right here. So for example, I have DBS Group Holdings, right? I'm I'm not I'm just gonna copy this part of the text, and this is the query, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use f string and pass this company right into here. So it's gonna say, well, and and what is the length of holdings? By the way, if you if you're gonna go and type a length of this, what do you think it would be? It's gonna be ten, right? It's gonna be ten. If we do our regex correctly, we're gonna find ten of them. So for each one of these ten different companies, what we're gonna do is to just open up Google you know, get, get web browser to open a new tab for each one of them. And that, that should be it. So let's try and run all of this to see. And let's open up our Chrome and put it somewhere in here so we can see that it does what it's instructed to do. Let's run the code now. And sure enough, it, it looks correct, but nope. Um, it's only finding, it's not, it's not doing the right thing yet here. And that's because we miss out this right here. Sorry, so this is, uh, whether it's a space, whether it's a capital or lowercase a, all of that for as many times as possible, run it. And now it's doing the right thing. See, 
Capital Land, Thai Barrage, and now you have all of this open up in a new tab. Okay, 